Hello and welcome back to Planet 4546B. Oh no, the orange, the beautiful orange has left us. But you know what we have still? The sea truck! Which I am currently on top of. Look at it. It's so amputated, but yet beautiful. I have no idea where to get the like other half of the sea trucks, the little upgrades, the little rooms or whatever that you can get. But, um, power cells. Okay, 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 okay. Gonna need to make some of those. Um, because it's night time, I think I will hold off on going out in the sea truck until we have a little more light to play with. Uh, and I'm gonna see if I can uh, build that battery charger real quick so that I don't. Um, I can avoid a future energy crisis, which is something I hear a lot of. People in power struggle to do, so we'll see if we can manage. Let's see. Uh, uh, I need the habitat builder. Um, where is it? Interior pieces? Yes, there it is. I'm blind. Copper wire. Do I still have enough copper? I probably don't. Okay, good to know. So I guess we're going out and smashing some more um, rocks and things. Got a table crawl, that's very good. Oh, very nice, we've got two. Um, um, gotta remember to catch some peepers on the way. Now is a good time to catch peepers actually because they're all stupid because it's night time. One. Hey, buddy. Come here. Yep. Easy peasy compared to the day. Can we get a... a thingy fish somewhere? Oops. How did I miss that? I think I just clicked a little too late or a little too early or something. My technique. I need to, I must work on my technique for catching stupid nighttime fish. Hey there. And one of you, come here. Don't get me stuck in the anemone, please. Uh, okay. Uh, should I get out my thingy? I don't know. I feel like I ought to be able to spot, um, outcrops without. Hello. Pointy iceberg. Plus, I seem to remember it's actually quite low on power at the moment. Oh, is this in the area with the brinicles? Titanium. Titanium. Copper. Need two of them to get a uh, copper wire. Did I write this? Yep, there's nothing but sparkles. I keep hearing these like irregular thumps. I'm wondering if that's the ice. Oxygen. Oh. Eh. It's very dark in this corner. It's weirdly quiet. I don't like it. Oh, you little symbiote shit. Don't bite me, please. No, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah. I heard you swimming behind me, you little shit. Woo! Orange.
No bitey. I'm supposed to be looking for limestone outcrops and I got so distracted by fish. Story of my life. Ah, there's the second copper. Very nice. Woo! Oh. What the fuck was that? Oh, it was you, you little shit. Oh, no, you don't. Can I pick you up when you are empty? Nope. <laughs> little bastards. A little bit of titanium. I'm rolling in titanium right now. Okay, let's build that battery charger. Throw some batteries in it. I don't think I can make any extra batteries Oxygen. right now. Nope, I'm good. I'm fine. Um, let's put them on. Let's put them on this wall because. Uh, yeah, then it's out of the way a bit. I think the power cell charger is going to take up a lot of space because it likes to stick out. Um, no, I have it equipped. I'm dumb. I'm going to be deconstructing all this when I make a decent base, so it doesn't really matter. Where am I just insane? There we go. Do I have nothing for it? Copper wire wiring kit. I have that, I just haven't picked it up. Okay. It? Oh, pipes. Fuck that. <laughs> Make some food and water real quick. Am I getting that sea truck? Let me in. Where the hairs on my chinny chin chin? Energy crisis vaguely averted. Though I don't have any spare batteries right now, but let's see. Um, let's take the one in my sea glide out because that's the most important right now, I think. Uh, toggle lights, toggle map, R. Select. Wait. How do I unload battery? There we go. Boop. Recharge your batteries. Okay. You are currently empty. Let's get in that fucking sea truck. Where is it? Does it have like a ping? There it is. I think I might call you Opa, because you look like an Opa. AKA a moonfish. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's it's a little more sluggish than a sea moth. That's understandable. Ah, this is so nice. Strafe. Fan fucking tastic. Nice powerful high beams. I wanna go look at those big guys. Not the shouty boys. Oh how weird. You look black. Don't want to 
bonk into these guys and hurt them. There they are. Two of them. Yeah, they got big fucking teeth, alright. I haven't built a repair tool, I shouldn't really get near them. Ooh, they're cool looking though. I'm gonna do a little flyby. Hi. Yeah, get him. Yeah, they definitely look related to the um, penguins. So pretty. Oh dear, that was close. Oh, it's a shouty boy over there. Oh, oh no, you don't. No chomping today, please. I don't have a repair tool. I assume that has to be the next thing on the list, right? Get our repair tool. Let's go down. How far can we go? Oh no! I think I just hit a fish. I've been to that thing, I'm pretty sure. Is that the one I've been to? Looks like it. Yeah, the box is open. This is about brushing my crush depth here. Oh, it doesn't like being rotated, it was tips. Warning, maximum depth reach. Yeah, I'll I gotcha. I gotcha, don't worry. Wow. Beautiful. Oops. Sorry! Did one point of damage. <laughs> These things are so cool. I'm not even looking for anything specific right now. I'm just enjoying this because, wow. Oh, sorry. Sea monkeys. Hello. I really don't want to bonk into a sea monkey. That would, that would upset me. <laughs> I'm not as maneuverable as I'm used to. What is that bubbling noise? Is that me? Is it the damage, maybe? Wait, that's like wrapped around the boulder. Need to hold. Don't think I can fit down there. Where 
did that big guy go? I want to go look at him. There's one. Hey, buddy. You gonna attack that ray? Fish, you don't care. You don't give a shit. Where did the one guy that was like up here though? Hmm. Yeah, when it gets dark I'm definitely making a repair tool because I don't feel um comfortable zipping around without being able to repair Opa here. Look at that huge loop de loop. How does that even happen? Ah, uh, did I read the entries for these things? I don't remember. They're very strange. Very strange and yet fill me with delight. Hi. I really want it. Oh no, sorry. Where do you go? One here. Ooh, hello. This is so cool. I've only seen like three biomes, I can't wait to explore more. Oh no! I thought you were safe, but you weren't. Yeah, these twisty things look cool, but they're hard to navigate. I'm just, just not really. Okay, water's got a little. Green just then. I think that was the creep vines, though. Way to green. Squish. Sorry. Does it get damaged if I leave it close to the hail? Let's find out. Doesn't look like it. You can't. Poke it outside the water either, you can just sort of spy hop. Alright. Okay. Let's park it here. Take a little look, see what it needs to make a repair tool. Do I even have one? I don't remember this. Crystalline, sulfur, silicon rubber. I think I have both those things. Let's have a look. I picked up some crystalline sulfur at the um, the little snot fountains. Let's see. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Ah, nothing in there. What am I doing? Yes, I did. Hooray! Hooray! Tools. Pair tool. Very nice. Okay. Now I feel better. Now I feel. Uh, I don't know. My mind sometimes I just goes into like three languages at the same time and I don't... English just disappears. Uh, let's see. Right, my thingy. Or... There we go, very nice. Um, who, uh, who should I... Actually, I think I'm gonna take it out. And put it in something else. Let's swap it. On this thing. Take it out of that. Because I'm not using the sea glide at the moment. I'm gonna have to pick up some more of those acid things soonish. 
Okay, I've got two, but no copper. Oh well. Oh well. Um. I don't really want to go around and see more in the. I already called it. I, that's gonna happen again. I know it's gonna happen again. I gotta call it a sea moth. I just know it. Um, I don't want to go around in the sea, sea truck at night. And I'm a bit worried. I'm gonna uh, something's gonna jump out at me, especially with how close the um, the shatty boys are. So you know what? I haven't done this in a while. Let's read some uh, PDA entries because we have a whole bunch that I haven't actually read. Let's check them out here. Okay, uh, 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 voice log, data bank. Uh, survival? No. Research. Digital life forms. There were those, um, heat flowers that create by honeycomb fungus? No. Wait, why is the honeycomb fungus exploitable? Filaments that collect nutrients and moisture. Oh! Could I have, like, cut chunks off that and eaten it? Interesting. Next time I see one, I'll try and remember to, um, exploit it. Because it's listed as exploitable. Let's see. Thermal lily. There we go. That's the one I wanted to read. Uh, thermal lily is an unusual terrestrial, terrestrial plant typically found on cliff walls. Between the day it points its face towards the sun. I noticed that. They all opened up when the sun rose. Absorbing thermal radiation is strong detail. At night, the thermal lid's petals close to reduce heat loss. And it relies on its heat stores to survive the harsh Arctic conditions. That explains nothing! <laughs> that explains nothing! That is a wholly inadequate PDA entry. I am incensed. Okay. Um, let's check these off seeing as they're here. Uh, horseshoe shrub. It's a little hard to say. Horseshoe, horseshoe shrub. Let's try to try some warm condition. Visual identification is to kind of leave by get drunk. Yeah, it's a weird looking thing. I wonder if it grows on one side and then joins the other side, or if it just sort of grows out of the ground like a lump and then just goes whoop. Uh, visual identification is to stick fibrous core. Fruit could be harvested and planted and could be a sustainable food source. And planted, so that means we do have grow beds at some point for sure. Let's see. Blue scrub brush. Unusual plant for this climate. Close to the ground. Tall with a fur like leaf. Chambered pores which capture and store the sun's heat. Okay. It's a plant. Well done. On being a plant. Um. Woman in Exorcist, yeah. What was that woman's problem? The one in the exosuit. Like I need to say which woman. And what the hell is she doing on this planet? It isn't exactly a happening vacation spot. She knew their terrain well enough to make a dramatic entrance by jumping off a sheer cliff. So I guess she's been here a while. But how long has she been following me? She said to keep away from her or off her land. What in this frozen slush bog could she be pretending? <laughs> Unless she's camped out somewhere. She's definitely heard of Altera, though. Did she meet Sam? Slushbog. Amazing. I mean, it would be. Wouldn't it be kind of weird if she hadn't heard of Altera? Like, isn't Altera one of like the five great corporate mega powers in the known galaxy? I I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, chill to Argentite. It's got silver. Hooray. Orvain. Yes. Wow. That's four words. Um, foreigner. Carnivores. Rock puncher. A birdie. Large crustacean which feeds on tiny lava, excavating powerful punching arms. That seems like a very wasteful feeding strategy. Attracted to glow lava found in and around deep sea rock formations. Oh, those little guys. I love those little guys. Hardened chitin claws, claws can thrust forward at close to high the speed of sound to break rock and burn alike. Known to attack larger creatures as threat its territory. Cave environment, six six legs. Here to walls. So maybe that one I saw on the surface wasn't supposed to be there. Maybe it was supposed to be in a cave. 
Perch, what does have vulnerable only to Leviathan class predators? Avoid or redirect with food. That's fun. You know, maybe you can get it to punch things? That's exciting. Oh yeah, look, there's those little, little glow guys. I love those guys. I'll have to remember that. Let's see if I can get them to like punch something, or maybe it just means that you you can distract them. Seek fluid intake. Oh shush! I'm reading. Arctic ray, fast moving rare species. Two sets of wings. They're not fast. They really aren't fast moving. Sorry, that's no. Uh, we'll quickly change direction. So it. So they have rivers. Alright, just just a little guy. Boomerang. Found frequent moving schools. It's a coral eater. Found so harder to grow back. Da da da. End of its just retract. Yep. Easy observed. Alright, I think that's the same as in the uh. Of the game. Oh yeah, you're a new guy. As first commons, various vibes. Distinct but also functional. Okay. Right, right on the belly of the fish. Caps keep spread as below. Plenty of sun. Okay, you just explained counter shading to me. I I know what counter shading is. Um. Let's throw some water in my face before she tells me off again. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Sit the. Let's need a nutrient block. Why not? Okay. Um, voice log. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Bullseye shroom. Harvestable fungi. Thick, meaty caps. Mushroom still gets harvestable and plantable. But is it edible? She'll have to try. Crescent moon. That's a coral? Wow. Press to grow vertically similar to a vine. Tiny flagellum. Do coral have flagellum? I don't know. It's weird to call it a coral anyway because it's an alien creature that doesn't apply to Earth's ta Earth taxonomy, but whatever. Okay. Interesting though. Kelp root. Contrary to its name, the visible aspect of the kelp root is a thick, twisted stem. Kelp root bur a pustule along that stem. Why is that capitalized? A pustule! Which are formed for the plants slowly ejecting out toxic materials. Oh! Oh, is that the. 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 the thingies? The. What's it? <laughs> I've lost all my words. Um, ribbon plants. Is that what they are? Is that what it's trying to tell me? Or is this something that I didn't see? These pustules. How about full for resources used in fabrication? Okay, I shall have to keep an eye out for pustules. Whatever those look like. Radiant sieve coral. Reminiscent of a sieve or colander. If you dried it, you might be able to use it as one and make some spaghetti. Uh, a common luminous plant. Uh, blah blah blah. It's a plant. Congrats. Um, equipment. Jukebox. Listen to soothing tunes by Artero's blessed, blessed, blessed and best musical artists while you work. Cool. I look forward to trying that out. Uh, floodlight. Sandish floodlight. Useful. Blah blah blah. It's a light. Well done. Crane's walnut. Decorative botanical use. Okay. Mod stations as combined. Fitted with a complement of equipment modification stations for the enable engineer to adapt the tools on the fly. Uh. Fusion Desert Club. Necessitate. Okay, nothing interesting there. Oh, 
Logs and communications. Let's hear some more from Sam. Hey, Robin. I'm sorry, my last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this, I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Wild, right? Well, anyway, I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said, but I, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I'm sorry. Oh, she sounds sad. What happened, Robin? Did you have a fight with whoever you were talking to, which is definitely not one of the aliens, I'm sure. Oh, well, let's save the last one and have a look at this penguin drawing. Oh, yes, very beautiful. Thanks for everything, Fred. Oh, she gave Fred the drawing. So cute. I actually know that Alex drew this. And not Sam, but... We'll pretend. <laughs> I've seen this on his Demon Art page. Gosh, it's so nice though. He, like, I was so excited when I heard that he was doing concept art for this game because he's been one of my favourite artists since years and years and years before Subnautica was even just a sniff on the wind. So yeah, that made me very excited. Gorgeous. Okay. Um, read the rest of it another time. I want to hear more about um, what's his face, Frank, Sea Truck Man. But uh, I think I'm gonna cut the video here. There's still so much to explore at this place. I mean, we've got the Sea Truck now. We defined all the different modules, and they'll probably extend our range significantly when we get them. We've got this. Uh, uh, where is it? There, the uh, we can go bug Margaret Maida, supposed Margaret Maida. See what she's about. She told us to fuck off, but you know, see a big sign that says "Do not enter." Of course, we're gonna enter there. We're gonna we're gonna go annoy her. Uh, we had that weird SOS signal, which I think was in a different direction. I think that was like that was over. It was over this way, but I think it was. Cause she's over there and I think it was like down there somewhere and I'm very curious if that was an acoustic signal or if it was like a signal signal because the PDA seems to pick up signal signals but that sounded like it was sound echoing through the water so who knows I also want to go and investigate literally every single creature on this thing I want to go look at them I want to go make friends if possible I want to go feed scraps to the rock puncher and see if it punctures things so many things I am so excited to explore and I'm so happy that they oh I'm getting a bit chilly I'm so happy that they made a main character uh, I'm so happy that Robin also is this just jazzed to be here she keeps saying things like oh I need to go find my sister but it wouldn't hurt to like scan some things and learn some biology while we're here which is just I feel that so much on a personal level just I want to look at all the things. All these beautiful creatures and strange weather. And I want to find out more about the planet. The people that were here, both the humans and the whatever the other aliens are. Yeah, so much to see and do. But, uh,. We will see and do it next time. Planet 4546B. So, goodbye.